Hello everyone! Today we will be sketching the graph of polynomial functions in factored form. This is the first part. On the side right here, I have placed the shapes of the, diff the four possible shapes of the end behavior of every polynomial function. Now, if you want to know how we got these shapes right here, there's a different video for that. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So let's get into the first example here. So uh, if we say a, a polynomial function in factored form, this is an example of a factored form of a polynomial. So uh, that's a factor form right there. Now let's find the roots. To find the roots, we are going to use the zero product property to determine what the roots are. So let's take the first one here. So the root, uh, the first root is x equals zero. The second root is x equals neg negative two. Again, we're using the zero product property. So x equals negative two. The third root is x equals positive one. The fourth root is x equals negative 3. The fifth root is x equals positive 2. So these are the roots. Again, to find the roots, we are supposed to use the zero product property and solve for x. And these are the, uh, these are the roots right here. Okay, let's look at the end behavior of the graph. Before we do the end behavior, let's determine first the uh, the degree. Okay, first, this uh, each of these uh, parentheses here will have an exponent of 1, including the 1 right here. So we count everything. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 5th degree. And so this is actually odd. So that's odd because 5 is um, an odd number. And then the leading coefficient, which is the invisible positive. So this is positive. So then this is an example of an odd positive graph. So looking at the uh, shapes right here, odd positive is going to look like this that's odd positive so it's gonna look similar to this so one end is going to go up here on this side and then the other end is gonna go down this way okay so the next thing that we are going to do in order that we can sketch the graph is to um, plot the zeros so the first zero is on zero or the plot the roots. So the, that's the first root. The second root is negative 2. I'm going to plot a dot right there. And then the third root is a positive 1. And then the fourth root is negative 3. So it's going to sit here. And the uh, fifth root is a positive 2. It's going to be right here. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is to sketch the graph now. So first, we're going to go up this way. Then we're going to go down, and then we're going to go th up this way, then we're going to go up this way, and that completes the graph. So this is the sketch of this polynomial function, and that is in factored form. And that is an example of an odd positive. I actually have drawn this on Desmos to better uh, to see how does it really look like. So this is the actual... Um, uh, graph on Desmos. Now for this section, we're not concerned about how high the graph is or how low the, uh, the, the curve is. So as you can see, these are the zeros here. So that's the first zero. That's the next root, negative two. The next root is zero. The next root is positive one and the other root is positive two. And that matches to the ones that we have um, up here so with their zeros. Again, we're not concerned how high this is or how low this is. There's going to be a different section for that. Let's have the second example here. So again, we find the roots. So the roots are actually the, uh, uh, the using the zero product property. So this is x equals negative 3. And then the next one is x equals negative 2. And then x is equal to negative 1. And the fourth root is x is equal to positive 3. 
and each of these will have um, an exponent of one that's invisible right there. So this is fourth degree. And so this means that this is even because four is even. The leading coefficient, the sign of the leading coefficient is negative. So this is an example of an even negative graph. So even negative is gonna look like this. So this end right here is gonna go down and this other end is gonna go down. Okay, so let's sketch the graph. First, uh, let's sketch the uh, root. So x is negative three, so I, it's, it's gonna be one of, uh, one of the root right there. And then we also have a negative two, so it's gonna be right here. And then negative one, it's gonna be right here. And then on positive three, so it's gonna be right there. Okay, so we're ready to um, sketch the graph. Again, this is even negative, so it's going down on both ends, left and right. So we can go ahead and sketch the graph. Again, we're not concerned how high this uh, curve is or how low it is because we're still graphing it on the x-axis. That's the reason why there's no y-axis over here. This, this is going to be a different section for that. So we can go ahead and sketch this one here and then it's going to go here and it's going to go down that way and this is the sketch of this polynomial function. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!